Okay, this is going to be a really quick rant about, um, inspired, I suppose, rather, by some comments uh, I had in a video this morning from Freethinker3161 about pirating music on the internet. And I am not going to get into a common conversation about, uh, you know, whether it's right or wrong to download off the internet in this video. And I'm really not up for that in the comment section either, because I really couldn't give a fuck how you consume your vit music. But I do have issues with the way I consume music, and I think I like CDs, and I don't like the fact that they're disappearing, and I think I got the right to fucking say so. And I don't like the fact that the fucking industry has decided that I'm not going to consume that way anymore, it's inevitable, and therefore they're just going to close it down, you know, sooner rather than later. I mean, sorry, I wasn't done buying CDs, thanks very much, so I do have a right to bitch about the fact that it's harder and harder and harder to find CDs in retail shops, because retail shops don't exist anymore. Uh, to a large degree. I mean, in my town, the only CDs and DVDs you can get now are fucking chart ones. Fuck that. I want, you know, I want variety, man. What the fuck? So that's one thing I want to bitch about. But the other thing about it is um, the real problem I have with the change in formats isn't so much my consumability, uh, you know, of the format of my choice. It's more about how it affects the creative process with artists and the way that they produce and put music out there in the first place. Because when uh, vinyl went over to CDs, uh, we did lose an awful lot in terms of artwork and potential. Uh, because of the smaller size, it didn't seem to be uh, as much of a need to put as much sort of embellishment um, uh, into it and so forth. A lot of bands still did try to make their albums, you know, a musical journey from beginning to end. But y'all who weren't alive back in the 80s or better yet in the 60s and 70s didn't really see what happened, man. I mean, back in the 70s, there was this awesome thing called albums where they came on these 12-inch vinyl records, okay? I mean, you've probably heard of them. And the album covers very often went with the music inside, which went with the lyrics, and, and it was all just this one great big theater of the mind experience. And when the fucking album on a band you were uh, into was coming out, it was a total fucking event, okay? And, you know, you'd be really... The, the whole experience is gone now to a large degree anyway. There's hardly any bands that bother making these theater of the mind experiences from beginning to end. It's more of a collection of songs now than anything because it's not really consumed in the same way. They don't have to produce it in a way which is a package. And, you know, I could list dozens of albums from the 70s and 80s where uh, you put an album on and at the end of it, you feel like you've had a fucking ride, okay? And the fact that that is dwindling and is possibly going to go extinct one day. Pardon me, but I think it's fucking sad. And I think I got the right to bitch about it. So there you go. That's my rant anyways. Um, if you want to give me shit down below, I wouldn't blame you. Um, <laughs> but there you go. That's what I got. This is Paul. Thanks for watching. And may all your ups and downs be ups.